Boingo Wireless Incorporated, Nasdaq Wifi, insider Don Callahan sold 12,500 shares of the business's stock in a transaction that occurred on Friday, November 4. The stock was sold at an average price of $9.86 for a total transaction of $123,250. Following the completion of the transaction, the insider now owns 18,847 shares of the company's stock, valued at $185,831.42. The sale was disclosed in a legal filing with the sect, which can be accessed through this hyperlink. Don Callahan also recently made the following trades. On Monday, October 3, Don Callahan sold 12,500 shares of Boingo Wireless stock. The stock was sold at an average price of $10.03 for a total transaction of $125,375. Shares of Boingo Wireless Incorporated, Nasdaq Wifi, opened at 10.72 on Thursday. Boingo Wireless Incorporated has a one-year low of $5.40 and a one-year high of $11.20. The stock has a 50-day moving average price of $9.95 and a 200-day moving average price of $8.77. The stock's market capitalization is $410.27 million. Boingo Wireless, Nasdaq Wifi, last released its quarterly earnings data on Thursday, November 3. The company reported 15 cents earnings per share EPS, for the quarter, beating the Zacks consensus estimate of 16 cents by 1 cent. Boingo Wireless had a negative net margin of 17.38% and a negative return on equity of 24.90%. The firm had revenue of $40.80 million for the quarter, compared to the consensus estimate of $41.28 million. During the same period last year, the firm earned $0.13 cents earnings per share. The company's quarterly revenue was up 9.7% on a year-over-year -year basis. Equities research analysts anticipate that Boingo Wireless Incorporated will post $0.71 cents EPS for the current year. A number of equities analysts recently weighed in on Wifi shares. Zach's investment research upgraded shares of Boingo Wireless from a hold rating to a buy rating and set a $11 price objective for the company in a report on Thursday, October 6. Jeffrey's group boosted their target price on shares of Boingo Wireless from $11 to $13 and gave the company a buy rating in a research note on Monday. Oppenheimer Holdings Incorporated began coverage on shares of Boingo Wireless in a research note on Tuesday, September 13. They set an outperform rating and a $12 target price for the company. Lautenberg Thalman reiterated a buy rating and set a $12.25 target price on shares of Boingo Wireless in a research note on Thursday, August 11. Finally, Craig Hallam boosted their target price on shares of Boingo Wireless from $11 to $13 and gave the company a buy rating in a research note on Friday, November 4. One equities research analyst has rated the stock with a sell rating, two have assigned a hold rating and six have issued a buy rating to the company's stock. Boingo Wireless has an average rating of buy and an average price target of $11.39. Several institutional investors have recently added to or reduced their stakes in the stock. Gilder Ganyan Howen Company LLC increased its stake in shares of Boingo Wireless by 6.3% in the second quarter. Gilder Ganyan Howen Company LLC now owns 2,519,715 shares of the company's stock valued at $22,476,000 after buying an additional 148,394 shares during the period. Dimensional Fund Advisors LP increased its stake in shares of Boingo Wireless by 0.9% in the second quarter. Dimensional Fund Advisors LP now owns 1,488,397 shares of the company's stock valued at $13,277,000 after buying an additional 13,267 shares during the period.
Vanguard Group Inc. increased its stake in shares of Boeing Go Wireless by 2.5% in the second quarter. Vanguard Group Inc. now owns 1,406,328 shares of the company's stock valued at $12,545,000, after buying an additional 33,690 shares during the period. BlackRock Fund Advisors increased its stake in shares of Boeing Go Wireless by 5.9% in the third quarter. BlackRock Fund Advisors now owns 1,317,698 shares of the company's stock valued at $13,546,000, after buying an additional 73,484 shares during the period. Finally, Emerald Acquisition Limited purchased a new stake in shares of Boeing Go Wireless during the second quarter valued at $6,678,000. Hedge funds and other institutional investors own 86.57% of the company's stock.